Here we are in on shape. We're making our dice and we have our first cube. That's our first actual object right there. And you see it's nice and centered on that origin. Nice and beautiful. One thing you may have noticed down here under the part section, when we made that extrusion, we made our first 3D shape and that turned it into what's called a part. So we have a part, an actual thing. Um, you're just to uh, let me just undo, or if we delete that, you can see that part went away. Once we make that extrusion, so extrude, let's do that again. Click on the sketch we want to extrude. We want to extrude it 16 millimeters. And to make sure it's right in the middle, we want that to be symmetric. And you'll notice a new part is created down here. Excellent. So now we have a cube. So now let's add our first little pip on here. So let's add doo -doo -doo, our one pip right there. We've already measured that. We know our diameter is going to be three millimeters. So where should we put that? Let's put that on the top. Now we have our view cube right here and we have our top. So what we can do is we can click on our top to go to our top view and we can let's hit a sketch so we want to make a new thing so we're going to add a sketch to our piece right here so the way you add sketches the way you add pieces to your shape here is that once you have an actual shape a 3d shape then you make a new sketch on that shape so if I wanted to draw on this side I would make a new sketch and I would click on this side, or if I want to draw on that side, or that side. So we're going to pick the top. We're going to click on it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to hit N for normal, for our, our normal view, and we're going to add our three millimeter diameter circle right in the center. So the nice thing about this being in the center on our origin is we know, do, 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 select a sketch plane. Oh, and then click on it yet. Click on it. Now hit N for normal. Center point circle, that's the one we want. I'm going to click on it. You'll see I'll come right here to the center. I'll click on the center of my circle. I'll pull it out. Just kind of get close, doesn't matter, because I'm going to click. And again, you've got that box of the highlighted text that right now it says 5.671. We don't want that. We want 3. Hit Enter. Excellent. Now I've got a three millimeter circle right in the center for our dice. I'm going to hit the check mark. So now what do we want to do with that? We're going to take that and we're going to push it in. So we're going to use the extrude button again. This time we're going to do it a little bit differently. So extrude. I'm going to click on my circle right there. It's going to default to coming out 25 millimeters. 25.4 is an inch, so that might be why. Um, so I can grab this arrow right here. Oh, my mouse is disappearing. And I can pull this up and down. You can see that my depth right there is changing. But we want to go down. So you can pull it down. And you can see you can go all the way through if you wanted to. But we don't want to add material. We want to put like a little tiny little divot, like a little hole right there. So we want to remove material. So we're going to change from add to remove. And you can see what that did right now is it just made a hole through the bottom because we went through whatever I dragged it to. Let's go down. Let's just go down one millimeter. I hit one and I'm going to hit OK. So now we've got a little tiny hole that's three millimeters that went down one millimeter. Excellent. So side number one is done. Beautiful. Let's move on to side number two. So pick whichever one you want to be side number two. It can be any one of these four on the sides, any one but the opposite side, because you know on a dice, the opposite sides add up to seven. 
So one and six, three and four, seven, two and five, seven. So any of the side ones, doesn't matter which one. So let's draw our two. I'm gonna hit sketch. Where do I want to sketch? Let's pick one of these planes. I want to sketch on there. I want to look at it. I'm going to hit N for normal. My normal view. Now I'm going to draw my two circles on there. So we can get kind of close. We can grab our circle tool. And I can just kind of put these on here. I know my diameter is going to be three. But that's not right in the exact place. We want it right in the exact place. So let's look at this. Let's measure our two. And I'm going to measure from the circle, the center of that circle, to the edge. Right there. So I want that center of that circle to the edge. And I get where that zero line lines up is four millimeters. So on my dice right here, I know that from this center of this circle right here to this edge, I want that to be four millimeters. So the third button we're going to use is this one right here called dimension. So what dimension does is it takes a shape and it sets it to an exact dimension, or it takes two shapes if you want them exactly four millimeters apart, you can get that way. So I'm going to click on this dimension button. First, I'm going to click the center of the circle. Not the edge of the circle, but the center of the circle. And I want to say that is four millimeters from the edge over here. Click that one. Now I can see that it has defaulted to, or it's where I clicked it, it was 4.31. I want exactly four. Enter. All right. Then I want it four millimeters from the top here. Click. 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 Four. Enter. So now, this looks like there's a lot of crazy little lines on here, but what it's saying is from this point to this edge is four. From this point to this edge is four. And this little circle with the slash through it, that's the diameter. So that's a diameter of three. All right, so that looks good. Right, so that's nice and lined up right there. This one, I want the same thing. So I'm going to click my dimension button again, make sure my dimension button's there. Click the center of the circle, the bottom of the dice. Come over here, click four. All right, so my dimension. Click the center, click the left edge come to the bottom, hit four. There we go. So now that's nice and neat and organized and exact. That's what we want. So I'm going to hit uh, check to say I'm done with that sketch. So what do we need to do next? We need to extrude those. We need to push those in that one millimeter. So we're going to extrude. Now I've got two circles here. I can extrude them at the same time. So I'm going to click one, click two, and don't do this. I'm going to accidentally click right here. Now that's going to extrude that whole shape, that whole two circles and the square next to it. I don't want that. So if I made a mistake, I can just click it again and it goes away. So I've got my two circles right there. I want to remove and I want to remove it at one millimeter. All right, starting to look like something here. If you're wondering why these little squares, I've got these four squares of different colors. So it's like a lighter blue down here and a darker blue down here. That's because my planes are going right through that. So it's kind of cutting that one cube into eight parts. If for some reason that's really bothering you, over here, you can turn off the little eyeball to turn off these three planes and now I've got just a little cube to work with if that bothers you that's up to you and then you can just put them back with that little eyeball all right 
So when I made those new extrusions, oh no, you can't see, over there, you'll notice it didn't make new parts right here because I didn't make a new part when I extruded into it. I just cut into that same part that was already there. So I still have that same one part just with some little pieces cut out of it there. Let's move me back there. All right, now what do we need here? So we've got side one, we've got side two. Let's move over to side three. All right, so again, doesn't really matter which part of the cube, as long as it is this face or this face. And let's make a new sketch. So what do we need to do? We need to make a sketch. We need to make our three circles. We need to put them in the right place. And then we need to extrude them. So we need to make our sketch. Click our sketch button. Select our plane. Select our face. Click on it. Press N for normal view. And now we need to draw our three circles. So we can do this kind of the same way. We could put our three circles here, and then we can use our dimension to kind of put them in the right place. But let's try something different. I'm going to get rid of those. So looking at our three right here, we have, they're all lined up in this little diagonal line right here. So let's look at our cube, or our square right here. Let's make a line right there. So I'm going to make a line right through my number three side right here. And I know I'm going to want one right here, one right here in the middle, and then one right here on the side, the top. Now you notice I made a dotted line there because I'm going to make what's called a construction line. So on on shape, let's make a construction line. So I'm going to use the line tool. Now if I just make a line, I can come down here and you see it kind of snaps to that corner there. That's nice. And I can come over here and it'll even tell me that's exactly 22.627. Cool. And good. So I've got a line there. Eh. You see it's giving me a weird error. Let's just undo that. So because I made that a normal line, you can see it's splitting that square into two triangles. Like if I went to extrude this, you know, I could do just half of that if I wanted to. That's not what I want though. I want that line just to kind of help me out with my drawing. All right. If you get out of your sketch and you want to go back to edit it, just come over here and just double click. So come over here, double click on whatever sketch you want. All right, so let us edit our sketch here. So this line right here, I'm going to click it, and I'm going to click on this thing called construction. So this is going to become a construction line, which isn't a real line, but it kind of helps us out. It's kind of like you take a pencil and just kind of lightly draw it on there. So now it becomes a dotted line. So now I don't have those two triangles anymore, but I have this nice line to kind of guide me, to help me out. So I'm going to put my three circles, and if you look at my three circles, they all have that center point on that line right there. So when I draw my circle, I know my center point is going to be on that line. Let's get my in for normal. So my center point is going to be on that line. I'm going to come out about three. I'm going to click press 3. You'll notice that's dotted. I don't want that dotted. That's still in construction mode. So I'm going to unclick that one. Or click that and unclick that. All right. So make sure that construction is off. Now I want one right in the center. So click, find that center point, come over here, click. I want that to be three, and then I want to come up here, click, move, click, three, enter. All right, so now they're all on that diagonal, but they're not in the exact spot. 
The center one's in the exact spot. These two aren't. So I want to make those the same as my number two. I want to make it four and four. But because I've already done it on that line right there, that center point is what's called constrained to that line right there, that diagonal line. It's constrained. It's stuck to it. No matter what I try to do, it's going to try to stay stuck to that. If you want to see that, you can click this Show Constraints. And that just shows, hey, this right there is on that line. So we want to move that so it's four from the center. So click my dimension button, click my center point, click my baseline right here, my bottom line, click, move over a little bit, hit click, and I want this to be four millimeters. Now, because that shifted along this line, so it's stuck on that line, and did four right there, I don't need to do from this point to this point because Look at that, that's already four. The computer already figured out that's four because we did that diagonal line first. So dimension, center point, click. Let's go to the top, click. Come over here, click, four, enter. Now, done, excellent. So there's my side with three. Now let's push those in. So let's use my extrude tool. Let's circle, circle, circle. All right. Let's go down. We want to remove that material. We want to remove one millimeter and hit check mark. Excellent. We've got one, two, three right there. All right, so it was one, two, and three. All right, so one, two, three, pretty much the same way we did them, a little bit differently. But now let's move on to four, five, and six.